Alright, today I have a video here on the Droid Razor or Droid Razor Max, whichever. It's the XT912. So, um, this is now running the newest official OTA update for Jelly Bean. So, let me just go into here. I'm going to show you what we got here. This is going to be a ROM install, um, but just make sure you're all in the same specs as me for doing this. So, you want to be on system version uh, 98-72- 16 da, or dot I'm sorry uh, XT 912 Verizon ENUS right there and this is uh, like I was telling you this is Jelly Bean Android version 4.2.1 um, so you want to make sure you're on that you want to make sure that you have root permission with an app like right here super user or super sue does not matter which and then you want to make sure you have safe strap installed uh, recommend having 3.11 version and I see up here it does say installed so if you have that the last thing you want to do is make sure you have your uh, ROM file and this is going to be rage ROM which is version 2.2 uh, which is based on that dot 16 jelly bean version system version I showed you a second ago so what we're going to do is just go ahead and power off the device um, if you don't know how to get root permission or how to install safe strap, I have videos on that. Check those out. Uh, they'll be on my YouTube channel or my website, whichever website right here above my thumb. Uh, so you can see that if you don't know how to do that stuff. But I'm just going to show you the ROM install here. Um, so phone's off. We're just going to go ahead and power it on to reboot. And you're going to get the uh, Motorola logo here. And then we're going to see a splash screen, which is going to be in red, which is for safe strap. Um, red means we're running stock ROM. If it's green, it means you're going to boot up the uh, safe ROM. So go ahead and hit that menu button down here in the bottom, your hard key on your phone. And as soon as you see that screen, and it'll now boot up uh, safe strap, or which is based on Torp Recovery application that is done by Hashcode, who is an awesome developer check out his stuff I got links for it too so you, you check it out um, so right now you can see on the top it's in red it says ROM slot stock which means we're in the stock ROM slot um, I'm gonna go to go ahead and hit boot uh, menu actually you know before we do that if you've never done a backup on your stock ROM slot you want to hit backup and then swipe across the bottom it'll do a backup for you you can also set the name of the backup before you swipe across the bottom right there um, recommend doing this first. It's kind of a safe safety thing, you know what I mean? You always want to have a backup of your stock system. So then you're going to go to boot options, and I already have, I have four ROM slots right here. I have CM 10.1 in the first ROM slot. I have st stock over here where this one doesn't ever go away. And then I have ROM slot 2, which I have not activated yet. So I'm going to go ahead and activate it. And basically all you get to pick from here is your data partition, which is how much room you want to have for apps. I don't want a lot on this one, so I'm just going to pick one gig. One gig is normally enough for most people. You don't normally use more than that unless you have some big high graphical games you're installing. So then we're just going to hit create ROM slot. And it's going to run through this process and create it. And then when it's done, it's going to boot us back out. So you'll see that. Um, but I'm going to let this run. Probably going to take five minutes for it to create this ROM slot. So let's let this do it. All right, so we just created the ROM slot. These are the steps that it performed down here on the bottom. So it basically created a system image and it wrote it. It created user space and wrote that. It created an edge partition and wrote that. And it finished the process, okay? So when it finishes, it's going to come to this screen right here. And you still you have ROM slot 2 and it's now in green. Um, so we're just going to click on it. And then the first thing you want to do is set a nickname. So right now it's just called ROM slot 2. I'm going to call this Rage ROM because that is what we are installing on here. So we're just going to type that in really quick. Um, you cannot use any spaces in this name, I don't think. So you might have to use like a dash or something like that. So Rage ROM is what I'm going to call this. Then hit go. And we can go back. And you can see now it is called Rage ROM. Now we're activated. If it's in green, it means we're activated on that slot. You can see that up here on top it says ROM slot 2 is the active slot. So at this point, we can go ahead and do our wipes on this thing. And this is only going to wipe this ROM slot, which there's nothing on it anyway. You probably don't even need to do it if you're just activating it. But we're going to do it anyway. So we're just going to go over here and wipe cache, wipe Delvic, wipe system, factory reset, which wipes data. And we'll go back and we'll go to install. 
And then I've got to actually find my where my files downloaded to. I downloaded it to the external SD card and it should be under downloads, which I think it is. Yeah, right here. So down here it says Rage ROM version 2.2 zip. And then you just want to make sure it's still listed right there by my thumb, which it is. And swipe across the bottom to flash this. So we're going to go ahead and install this. It's going to go through the installation process probably another five minutes. Uh, just a heads up for you guys, whenever you're installing anything on the Droids or Macs, because people, some people were on the leak and other people were on the official OTA, if you're installing a ROM, you got to make sure it's for the right one. It, they're both jelly bean. You have a, a .8 jelly bean, which is the leak, and then you have, or the Christmas version, whatever you want to call it, and then you have the .16 uh, jelly bean. So whatever ROM you're installing, make sure it's for the version that's on your device. Otherwise, it will not boot. It won't break anything. It just won't boot up. You'll have to go back to your stock ROM slot. Not a huge deal, but if you want to know why it's not working, that is why. So we're going to let this thing update. Uh, I'd say probably take three or four minutes, and then we'll go from there. So hang on. All right, so we just went through all of our processes. The last thing it says is it set system link and permissions. Um, I don't think we needed to flash Google applications. I think they're uh, included in this ROM. So that's not an issue basically from here. Uh, once you finish the flash process here, you're just going to go ahead and hit, uh, well, well, we'll do it two ways. You can hit the reboot system now, or you can go back. It really doesn't make any difference back. And then you can go to reboots and then go to system. Just so you can see there's two ways of doing it. Basically now you're going to reboot. We're going to see the Motorola logo like so. And we're going to see our safe strap splash screen. And you can hit the menu button at the bottom, or you can hit the search button and it'll bypass it or you can just let it boot but it is in green now because you're running a safe strap ROM slot instead of stock which is red and it's gonna boot up here didn't touch anything obviously we're gonna see our boot animation I'm not sure if the developer has changed it or not for raid ROM it might just be stock uh, but let's check it out really quick and then we'll let this thing boot up I'll go through some setup and then I'll show you guys the ROM so it is the stock Razer boot animation. All right, so here you guys go. This is Raid ROM fully booted up. It is running uh, Apex Launcher. You have an, a launcher sh choice when you first boot up to the phone. I just chose Apex because I like it. Um, but it's going to look basically like this. This is your basic setup. Um, so you got a folder right there. So let's get into some of our uh, settings in here. So let's go into system settings. And you can see the stuff that's in here. It's pretty much your basic uh, stuff in there. And then we'll go to About Phone and just show you that we are on Android 4.1.2. And it is Rage ROM. So that is what we are running right here. Let's go ahead and check our toggles. We do have some toggles up top, which is really nice right here. Your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth, GPS, you know, sound, all those kind of goodies, screen, brightness, all that kind of stuff. So that, that is pretty neat, um, and then you can also get into settings that way also. Uh, you also have up here your battery percentage in that battery icon, which is really nice. Time one uh, 4G obviously right there. Um, let's go ahead and check out what applications this thing comes with. So you have CPU Sleeper, which is built into this thing. I like that. And other than that, Super User obviously. Uh, so you do have root permission in this app, uh, in this ROM. Uh, the rest of it's pretty much your stock stuff. It is de-bloated. You're, you know, you only have a couple Verizon applications right there. You can see everything else has pretty much been pulled out of it. So if you want those, you could probably download them from the market. It's not a huge deal. Let's go ahead and go to App Drawer, and you can see your basic. Uh, I'm sorry, widgets. I should say you can see your basic widgets right through here. And there you go. That is pretty much your uh, look and feel of this ROM. Um, it does operate fairly, fairly smooth. Definitely good transitions there for sure. Um, let's go ahead and check our screen here for uh, power up. So you got your four options there. I think that's pretty standard right there. Um, and then you have up here your vibrate or volume. You can turn on and off without even going into the phone. So. Pretty nice, pretty sweet. I'm going to be playing with this for a while, guys. Um, but that is it. That is how you install Rage ROM on the Droid Razor Max. I uh, hope you like this little tutorial. 
and a little bit of a round review on it. Um, please give uh, Hicks a big uh, thumbs up because he's a great developer out there. Does a good job on these ROMs and some good customization on them. Thank you very much. Uh, if you got time, please check out my website up here above my thumb. You can follow me on Facebook or Twitter. And there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time.